Hello guys, Getse Kabor here. It's New Year's Eve and I'm currently uh, recording the first video that you guys are going to see in 2017. Now this is one that I'm excited to get to because this is something that you guys have asked for. This is a comparison between the Imperial Assault Hover Tank and the Battle and Scarif. So, a few different things that I'm going to cover in, the, in this particular video. Firstly, I'd like to wish you all a Happy New Year. Um, of course, if you watch this in several weeks' time, it won't matter anymore. But of course, if you watch it now, then Happy New Year to you. Have a good, great time. It's actually fairly late New Year's Eve at the moment. It's about 10 minutes away from 2017. So I'm going to get this video recorded and get it uploaded to you guys early morning 2017. So, what we have here is the Assault Hover Tank and the Battle on Scarif. To begin with, the Assault Hover Tank is a $60 set. Uh, in Australia, it retails for $60, and the Battle on Scarf is an $80 set. So, to begin with, $20 more value here than here. And it shows a little bit. Um, just looking at the size, there's oops, size comparison, there's a fair bit more over here. It probably comes to about here, or sort of about here. There's a fair bit more size wise and piece wise. Minifigs, we get an extra, a single extra minifig over here. Um, so, once again, that's pretty, seems pretty standard for this wave. We've got, you know, $20 per minifig, $20 per minifig. That all works out really nice. So, one is, of course, a vehicle, and we have a playset here at Scarif. And the sets complement each other quite well. To begin with, we have two shore troopers and two of the uh, pilots, which both feature the same helmet with different prints. I'd just like to point out that they don't look anything alike except when you really start to pay attention to the lines and mold lines here. They are the same helmet. However, they are different prints and they look completely different. Personally, I'm a much bigger fan of the hover tank driver than I am the Shore Trooper. That said, I am the Shore Trooper has grown on me no end. Now, the Rebels we get. We get uh, Donnie Yen's character, Chirrut Imwe, in this set. Um, and of course, it's a fantastic minifigure, as uh, many of you will know. And we get two Rebels. We get Cassie and Andor here. And I've managed to knock his hair off. And Jin Erso here in her Imperial um, ground crew uh, disguise. So, that's the minifigs, those are the builds. Let's check out what's cool and interacts between them. To begin with, the most obvious one, you can see two of these crates here. Now, both crates are fantastic, I'll use this one, they're both the same build. Inside, they can store a little bit too. Macro binoculars in here, and there's a pistol and macro binoculars in the other one. And what them being the same build means is you can take the hover tank, which many people have bemoaned the lack of another crate here, and you can take this crate, and it fits perfectly in like that. There you go. Two crates on your hover tank. You're coming along with your shiplop shipment of kyber crystals, or in this case, macro binoculars and a single blaster. <laughs> coming along with that with both uh, cargo crates. So that's pretty cool. It definitely improves the look of this set. Um, or, whoop, yeah, you could go the other way, take this one from here, put it over here. More cover for your rebels. Um, you know, perhaps you've just had a shipment come in from off on Lothal or something. You got an extra cargo crate over here, you know, for whatever's going on. So, that's pretty cool. Another thing is, something in this set, these two rebels don't really fit. Jin Erso was in this outfit at the time of this scene, but wasn't here. And Cassian Andor was in a slightly different outfit at the time of the scene, but it was in this outfit when he was here, to a point. He was also in another outfit then as well. The Shore Troopers are fantastic, so are the hover, um, hover Tank drivers. But Donnie Yen here, while he fits with this one, also fits with this one. And Donnie Yen is a very pivotal scene in the film where um, Chirrut Imwe and Bayes Malbus are involved in a thing at, at, at this location. Um, and it's, if you've seen the film, you'll get what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try and avoid spoiling it for you. Um, it's really, really great. But long story short, the minifigs complement each other. Donnie Yen goes really well here, um, along with the Shore Troopers. Even the Hover Tank drivers we do see at this time, driving the AT ACT, the All-Terrain Assault Cargo Transport. Yeah, so the crates match, he matches, that's pretty great. Now, of course, 
for play features. This one uh, has probably more, sorry, probably more. It has more play features uh, with stuff under here, the doors, all that kind of stuff. This one has the firing in the front, and this opens to reveal a sort of substandard interior. But that's about it for that one. And it rolls, of course. Design-wise, I like both of them. I'm a fan of this one because I like the vehicle design, it looks cool. I'm also a fan of this one because we don't get enough locations in LEGO Star Wars. And any location, especially one as iconic, or one that's going to be as iconic and as pivotal as this, I'm happy about it. Now, value for money. Look, neither set is priced cheaply. They're both at the very, very high end. However, the Scarif set, this feels like an $80 set. The amount of work and parts that go into it, along with the minifig selection um, and all the little details, it feels like an $80 set. The Hover Tank doesn't quite feel like a $60 set. Um, don't get me wrong, it's a great set on its own. And if I was to pay 40, maybe even 45 for it, I'd be thrilled. This does, this feels like a $40, $45 set, and the piece count and American price both back that up. In Australia, this should have been, whoop, and I've gone and managed to fire one of the uh, such one of the shooters. But in Australia, this should have been a $40 set. I would have bought two, probably even three of those at that point. As it is, I've picked up this one. Only I'm going to get others if someone buys it for me, or if I can find it really cheap. However, um, as with all the sets, the minifigs are spectacular, even if there's a, you know, only a few of them. But yeah, so that's the comparison of these two sets. Ideally, we now have the hover tank fully loaded out, and we now have one of the two characters really needed for this scene, along with the short troopers. So, they work quite well together, separately, Honestly, I'd recommend the Battle on Scarif as being the slightly better set, just because of the value. While this is cool, it's the value's not there for it. So those are my thoughts on these two sets, and a sort of bit of comparison between them. Let me know yours down in the comments. Now, this is possibly what some of you have been waiting for. At the end of this video, I'm going to start off 2017 with a bang. Next week, I'll be releasing a comparison, just like this one, of the two new battle packs. The uh, Imperial Trooper Battle Pack and the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. And I won't just be releasing that video. To one lucky subscriber who is the first to comment, and I'll tell you what to comment in the next video and how it's going to work, but one lucky subscriber will be sent the Imperial Battle Pack or the Rebel Battle Pack. Um, that's their choice, and I'll sort of figure that one out. So I'm giving a giveaway next week, so make sure to check out that video. I'll probably chat about it at the end, like with this one, so make sure to watch the entire way through, um, or you could skip to the end, yeah, that works too, I guess. Please don't. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, those have been these two sets. Next week you've got a comparison of the two battle packs and a giveaway, so check that out, and have a great 2017. Getsei Kibor, signing off.